So I was at the finish line, waiting for a friend to cross. Music was playing, people were laughing and cheering, having a great time. And then all of a sudden, a loud explosion went off. And then it was just sheer pit and monkey. My name is Jennifer Kaufman, and I am one of the 264 survivors of the 2013 Boston Marathon bombings. The explosion threw me into the barricade. I had sustained all kinds of inflammation and swelling of my internal organs. I have hearing loss, oscillations in my neck, my middle back, and my lower back. I was at the top of my career. I was living the life that I loved, and that day just took it all away. While I was in the hospital, it became very apparent to me that I wanted to heal using alternative medicine. That conventional medicine just wasn't going to work for me. And so I've just been on this journey to find ways to heal on, on a deep level. As a way to continue my healing, I decided to do the 2017 Boston Marathon. Today I am heading for my NET appointment with Terry Plant, and NET is Neuroemotional Technique. I'm Terry Plant, I'm a licensed acupuncturist. I specialize in stuck and unresolved emotions. I identify and balance energetic organs, toxins, nutrition, and emotions at an energetic level. Jennifer Kaufman is coming in for her weekly session. Uh, I've been seeing her for about a year. A lot of people have emotions that stuck because of a physical imbalance, and we clear out the physical imbalance to actually release that emotional piece. I specialize in balancing the four stressors, and that's from a toxic, emotional, nutritional, and structural level. And I do this so the body can heal itself. Going into today's session with Terry, I want to address the pain that I've been experiencing in my feet and lower back. I also have been experiencing some flashbacks from the bombing, which I haven't had in a long time. So as I get closer to the marathon, I'm starting to see some lingering PTSD. Although I'm feeling stronger and more confident, there's still a little bit of doubt that I have what it takes to finish. And I want to know that I'm gonna be able to do 21 miles in the course this weekend and then cross that finish line. So let's check to see if we're balanced today, shall we? Yep. Body is aware, body is awareness. You could say, my name is Jennifer. My name is Jennifer. You could say, my name is Sally. My name is Sally. Fantastic, you know who you are. What I'm doing today on Jennifer's kinesiology is basically to test for strength and weakness. If the arm is strong, that means that the body is congruent. If the arm goes down, that means there's a weakness and that there's a stressor. So I'm gonna check your organs. So your left uh, long, right long, left, right and left, left and right, and both. Heart, circulation, emotional heart. Each particular organ represents a particular series of emotions. So what we're doing is that we're looking for that particular organ that's actually out of balance that we need to correct. Stomach, ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, sigmoid, small intestine, ileum, jejunum, duodenum. Ooh, duodenum. Okay, so let's work. Breathe in and out. I'm gonna see if any other stressors besides the structural piece, toxins, nutrition, emotions. So. There happens to be an emotional piece. Would you like to check it out? Sure. So what's showing up is the duodenum is weak, and so that indicates to me that there's also an emotional component stuck in her digestive tract. Generally, there are two things in life. There's money and love, and then there's you. You based on being a daughter, a sister, a friend, a foe, a runner. Let's check the concept of fear. So why would you have a feeling of fear in regards to being a runner? Uh, about being able to do it. <sighs> that it's gonna hurt my body. I don't know. Fear that you'll have more work to do even after the marathon. Uh, that. Yep. Got it? Yep. Jennifer doesn't feel like she has the right to finish the marathon, which is why her arm tests weak. Her body's in conflict, it's out of congruency with that, that statement. And so we need to correct that to make it strong so she can feel uh, from an energetic point of view that she does have the right to finish the marathon. So what's the hardest part about this fear? I really, 
am hoping that crossing the finish line really is a turning point for me and that I've really done all the work I needed to do to heal from my experience. So the fear of not getting... Yeah, not, not being able to get to, you know, 100% healed. Each week we're pushing the envelope and getting the body to go further and be stronger and more endurant. Deep belly breaths, deep pressure. We connect that particular pulse point to connect to the limbic connection on the forehead. Deep belly breaths until that feeling shifts, fades, or goes away. As she's breathing, through that process, that trauma of that, that particular organ that's out of balance self-corrects. That breathing makes the difference. That deep belly breath going back into time where she originally experienced it. And breathing through that process helps mentally shift it. Time for acupuncture. Yay! Now we're going to work on digestive points. Okay, this is called a digestive eight. Breathe in and out. And this helps the abdominal aspect. We're gonna breathe in and out. With you, the focus is also to help open up the abdomen for the upper to, to talk with the lower, okay? That's a major player for you today. I'm starting to realize how it's almost like a pattern where your response, your immediate response to trauma can determine whether or not it stays locked in your body or you just it just kind of moves through you. And I'm now starting to see why things have gotten locked in my body. All set. Okay. Okay. Take your Thank time. you. You're welcome. After my session with Terry, I feel less pain. I also feel more confident in my ability to be able to do 21 miles this weekend. I feel extraordinarily blessed to work with people like Terry. Truly been a godsend, and I really feel like I'm gonna get back to a, a brand new place in my life. When I started treating Jennifer about a year and a half ago, she was struggling with circulation issues and pronounced pain in her body which contributed to her inability to maintain consistent level of energy and vitality. Now, she was able to run and finish the 2017 Boston Marathon. 